we're in Epcot. We made a reservation today to go to Coral Reef for dinner. And it's like a couple hours, so we're just gonna kill some time. Yeah. But we haven't been here since they put up the wall in front of the, uh, the fountains. On the nation, yeah. club pool, and Starbucks. Yeah, we did see it closed on Sunday, but we didn't see the wall. The wall is new, so let's go see the wall. But don't worry, because there's places to sit next to the wall. On the menu, under appetizers, they have a mushroom lobster style salad that's vegan. And then under entrees, they have this grilled garden vegetable skewer that's vegan. And then they also have a dessert. This doesn't have the dessert menu on it, but we're gonna get all of it. All right, so a couple minutes ago, they gave us the vegan gluten-free rolls. We just brought out vegan butter. And then this is the mushroom lobster style salad appetizer. So what, we've got is like mushrooms, and then a layer of tomato, and then cubes, avocado on the bottom. Start the palm in too. Oh, it starts a palm in there? That's a the whole, menu said. I'm, in, I'm indifferent on it. It's hard to eat. It's, yeah, it's like when you cut through, it's, it's just kind of really, all, really, really cold. Yeah, it's really cold. It's too cold. You just kind of smush it down and then put the best. Over here, the chef made him some pasta, marinara sauce, and broccoli. And then we got the grilled garden skewers. The plates are pretty massive. Um, so you get two little impossible meat pepto balls. This is some eggplant, and then you have the zucchini, and there's peppers and stuff like that, and then rice, lentils, and some tomatoes. It looks really good. It smells really, really good. So everything's super flavorful. The amount of impossible meat is kind of humorous. <laughs> uh, it's super mushy, full of herbs. The, um, the rice and the lentils are pretty good. The sauce, if anything, the coral reef ever does right, they always put good sauces on their vegetables. Um, but yeah, the impossible meat, honestly, I could do without that, and I would probably actually like this dish more. Yeah, the best part is the actual skewer. Yeah. There's egg eggplant in the skewer too, that little guy's eggplant. Bailey's and Jack Daniels almond plant-based. Plant-based <laughs> Bailey's almond and Jack Daniels mousse. It's the longest dessert name I've ever heard. Well, they gotta let you know that the Bailey's is plant-based. Right, almond. yeah, this is the vegan one. All right, let's see. Ooh, that. All right, I have high hopes on this, but I also had high hopes on everything else. So it's pretty good. She pretty. It's like cakey on the bottom. Yeah, the layer cake. Oh yeah, let's get, look at that. There we go. It's pretty good. All right, we just finished dinner at Coral Reef. We're both very underwhelmed. I would not come back. Uh, it used to be one of our favorites, like, I don't know, how many years ago was it when they had that chicken? I mean, when I did this other five, six video when Bridget and I came yeah, and yeah. got the cauliflower, like I said it, but the 
the chicken dish was still like my favorite thing they ever had, but it was a couple years ago that they got rid of it. But this was just like, the only thing I enjoyed was the dessert. Yeah. And I think mostly I liked it because it wasn't sorbet. I mean, it was good. Yeah. Not yeah, no, no, it was a, a, I guess, yeah, yeah, it was a good dessert. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the appetizer is supposed to be like a seafood salad, which I've never had like seafood salad. No. Like, unless you count like tuna <clears throat> salad. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so you mentioned that like, as the layers got worse, the texture, or the layers went down, the texture got so like, even softer. softer. Yeah, there's no, there's one texture that the entire dish, which... Mushy. <laughs> yeah, just mushy. Yeah, I, I got to the point where I was actually <clears throat> struggling to eat it. Like, I let you end up eating most of that because it's, like, the texture was just not something I enjoyed. Well, I kept eating it to like try to like... Figure out what it Figure out what it was trying, it like. to, trying to be. It was... The main flavor was like mayo, avocado, and then black pepper. Mm -hmm. All you yeah. could really taste Yeah, like black pepper. But you have the layer of uh, heart to palm, mushroom, avocado, tomato. Yeah. But yeah, because it was just like, and I, I like mushrooms, so it's not like it was like a weird mushroom texture thing. I mean, I like hearts of palm. You make stuff with hearts of palm often, not anymore, but you used to. But like, yeah. I don't, I don't know what it was. It was just well, the cold entire, and mushy. Yeah, it was really, really cold. Yeah. Like straight from the, like, it was, it came in like a rectangle shape. Straight from like the fridge, like cold, too cold. Did not like that. However, I ran into a friend who was also here eating it and he liked it. So, I mean, I guess. <laughs> and it came with a little triangle of looked like tortilla. baked tortilla. Yeah. I ate like a little bite of that. Yeah, was... I don't know if you were supposed to like scoop it I, or what. I did that, didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that was, that was not great. And then the app or the actual entree, again, I was like, I really had higher hopes. Like the, the impossible meat on it was like two itty bitty little balls. It was no, it was one meatball, which is smaller than the pollution garden spread yeah. meatball, yeah. and then cut in half. So it's one meatball. Yeah, I get, yeah, it was yeah, it was cut in half. Yeah, and then cut in half, and it was really mushy. Yeah. And then super like I think it was like dried basil. And yeah. It was kind of sweet basil, and like it's all I could really taste of that. Wow. And then uh uh friend that we ran into is gluten free, and he said he couldn't have the the impossible balls because they're mixed with gluten, so um, I don't know about that situation. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then the vegetables on the skewer, it had eggplant, red pepper, one. onion, bell pepper. Oh, sorry, yeah, 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 just peppers. Onion, zucchini, and that was it. And the zucchini and the eggplant were like not cooked, and the eggplant was 100% not cooked. Like those were like white. I think I had three pretty good pieces probably like inch and a half long they're like little the little baby zucchinis or uh eggplants well, i guess both um out of the three pieces of eggplant one of mine was cooked the other two were not yeah none of mine were and then the zucchini was undercooked but like we can get away with that with yeah yeah like zucchini a, yeah zucchini's okay. not too bad when it's undercooked but yeah the eggplant was just little, <clears throat> and then the asparagus was like half of them were cooked half of them were you get three pieces of asparagus i had like four i had three one out of the three was actually cooked yeah and i had like an eggplant salsa and uh, i didn't i did not yeah. like that i, I, I don't like eggplant. i didn't mind that it was a little tangy i didn't like that and then the really the only thing i liked on the dish was the sauce on the the vegetable skewers and then the rice, the rice and lentils. The rice and lentils, was, that was the best part of the yeah. dish for me, was the rice and lentils. I I wouldn't come back for that. And uh, then, no. yeah, the dessert was good. Um, it was just like a mousse. I mean, there's, that was good, yeah. It was mousse with like cake. Okay, but anyway, um, as a whole, I don't I don't think we'll be back here anytime soon for this meal again, which is a bummer, because I always like this restaurant. Yeah. And if you don't know, there's an aquarium. Yeah, fish, which, yeah, I mean, there's sharks. video of that, so yeah. So yeah, you can Heads see up. It. But yeah. Um, we're, not, we're not coming back. No, I and and they still have the gluten free rolls for. They did. The chef did say that um, they're trying to work. I guess Miyoko's is starting to make bread, so they're gonna just try and get that bread now. Um, and then the kids' option was just plain pasta. And then if they have marinara sauce or if you made it, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I appreciate the effort. Did not love the food. The character spot. Is over here now. 
as opposed to being over there. 